What is going on guys and welcome back to another Cartoon Conspiracy Theory brought to you by none other than yourself, the fans. Again, let me go through the spiel real quick for you guys that are new to this. If you guys can check out the Facebook fan page link in the description as you guys are seeing right now, you guys can leave your theories there for me to read and if they are good enough, I'll put them on this video and if they're even better, I'll make a standalone video and give you guys all shout outs. Links to that in the description. Also, you guys can follow me on Twitter and the Patreon as well. All of that will be in the description. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this this week's fan theories. Our first theory comes to us from Logan Kleitz. Probably pronounced your name wrong. I apologize for that. But he has a theory about the new Disney film Inside Out. His theory is that Riley, the main female character, is actually a hermaphrodite. The theory, he says, is based around the scene when they are eating dinner and it goes inside of her mom's and her dad's emotions. He says if you look, you see all the mom's emotions are female and all the dad's emotions are men. But when you actually see Riley's emotions, they actually have three women and three two men. This could be from mixed chromosomes and her being a hermaphrodite. He goes on to say this is supported when she could because she's when she's around people, it always seems like she's uncomfortable and insecure with being different and not being herself. So, uh, interesting theory. Thank you for sending that in, Logan. Very cool theory. I have not seen that movie yet. I've been looking forward to seeing it, but I'll definitely have to keep that in mind when I watch this movie for the first time. Our next theory comes from Stephen Matthews, and thank you, Stephen, for sending us in. It's about the Mario universe. He says that Bowser is actually dead, and King Boo is possessing his body. He goes on to say that at the end of Paper Mario on the N64, Bowser falls from a high distance and dies. The talent people say that he's probably dead, and he won't come back to life. The very next game, chronologically, after that was Luigi's Mansion on the GameCube. In this game, you actually fight King Boo, who is actually inside of Bowser's body. During the fight, Bowser's head falls off many times but is put back on by King Boo. Now in the newer games, the reason why he comes back to life is actually because King Boo is resurrecting his body. And he goes on to say that only the games that take place after the original Paper Mario on the N64, Bowser is actually dead and he's been dead since that game and he would actually, the only reason why this is happening is because Boo needs Bowser's body to, because it's bigger and stronger and he's not He's not powerful enough by himself, and he's Bowser's body to actually take on Mario. A very cool theory. I actually love this one a lot. I'm actually going to do an in-depth theory on this one a little bit later. Uh, but very cool. Thank you for taking that in, Steven. Appreciate that. And our final theory this week comes from a Reddit user called Pawn Mikama. I probably pronounced that wrong as well. I apologize. And she has a theory saying that Rose Quartz from Steven Universe is actually blind. He says that... Almost every time you see her, Rose's eyes are closed. And then Pearl always says, quote, she saw the beauty in everything. And, quote, she saw past on favorable qualities that she saw their soul or felt their true intentions just by being around them and getting to know them without actually seeing their physical form. A very cool theory. I'm actually starting to watch a little bit more of this show. I'm not too terribly deep into it, but I'd really appreciate this theory. Thanks everyone who submitted your theories this week over on Facebook. Keep them coming, guys. Keep on sending me your messages, your Facebooks, your Twitters. Love reading you guys what you guys have to say. Like I said, come over, check out the Facebook fan page. I post all the theories there. I post all pictures there. And we have a good time and chat with you guys so make sure you guys come check that out and give it that page a like also make sure you guys drop this video a like i really do appreciate it when you guys hit that like button so go ahead and smash that with the 500 likes i'll drop out next week's theory a day early for you guys as always make sure you guys subscribe as well and this video's code word is going to be team rocket from pokemon so go ahead and drop that in the comment section i know you guys made it all the way through the end and as always guys have a great day remember this came back time somewhere and i will speak with you again shortly until then take it easy and peace out.